Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Warhammer Quest Blackstone Fortress, the dreaded Amble. One of these will cost you £35. It's in this box, just came today. This is the release day, the 23rd of February. Now that I've got the whole package in my hands, I'm really interested to find out what's in there. Um, I may have been a little bit harsh uh, on sort of like a preview of it or, you know, comments that I've made previously because I wasn't looking at it as a as kind of like a full expansion for Blackstone Fortress. However, it is £35, guys, which is almost half of the price of the full game itself. You know, so even if you look at it as an expansion, it's still almost half the price. Ever since video games have had season passes and expansions and DLC and things like that, I've always wondered how long it would take Games Workshop and Forge World to do those things and they're hot on the heels, they really are. However, what I do really applaud Games Workshop and Forge World in doing is actually making their miniatures playable in different um, games, and different game uh, types, like hence, you know, this Breaded Amble is, you know, you can use it in Warhammer 40,000. If you couldn't use it in Warhammer 40,000, like the Blackstone Fortress models, then there's no way I'd touch it. Speaking of which, I'm gonna be dotting uh, some Blackstone Fortress uh, miniature reviews out next week in between the Gene Stealer Cult reviews because already you've had two solid weeks of Gene Stealer Cult like model unboxings and even a couple of reviews as well so far so to spread them out a bit and to focus on Blackstone Fortress I'm going to release the Blackstone Fortress videos a little bit earlier than I thought I would and that includes the uh, the chaos um, reviews that I've done all of the the chaos uh, model reviews including Obsidious Malix and things anyway enough about that Let's unbox uh, the dreaded amble. Um, like I said, £35 for kind of a medium sized model. Uh, but, you know, apparently it's an expansion and it's got uh, some boar worms in as well. So here it is the dreaded amble Warhammer Quest Blackstone Fortress expansion pack. Quite clearly says that. It's in a much smaller box than I thought, but then again, it's one sprue. Uh, so let's just have a little feast of this box. Let's uh, penetrate this, rip this packaging off. Ah, brilliant. Okay, so yeah, the, the box art and things is similar vein to uh, Blackstone Fortress. You can definitely pick these out on the um, shelves. So this is the Amble. And this is the boar worm infestations, and then you've got lots of different things dotted about. I'll just read you, the, I'll say the preface. Um, amongst the roving squads of heretical warriors, the packs of snarling predators and the eldritch defence systems within the Blackstone Fortress, a new threat has been sighted. A monstrous beast lurks in the darkness, one feared throughout the Imperium and beyond. It is an apex predator, a being utterly incapable of reason or mercy, a dreaded amble. It says requires a copy of Warhammer Quest Blackstone Fortress to pay, play. So Blackstone Fortress is £95, this is £35, so it's £120, um, you know, I say for the full, no, for the full game and this expansion. The box contains three Citadel miniatures, 16 page dreaded amble uh, booklet, Lair of the Beast sheet, assembly guide, punch board, 18 discovery cards, 10 exploration cards, three encounter cards, three hostile reference cards, and one Lair of the Beast envelope pretty good that you get an envelope in there. I must say I'm a huge fan already. I'm a huge fan of the Dreaded Amble. I'm a huge fan of lots of new Xenos beast things. I think Warhammer 40,000 is so Imperial centric, so Imperial heavy. I'm all for new scenery and new uh, creatures. You know, even even if they come in the form of Necromunda as well, in terms of the, the crocodile thing. <laughs> anyway, let's open this. So, uh, quite impressed with the packaging there we go so the dreaded amble you oh you got all the books and things in here and the tokens so let's uh, carefully get rid of that should I punch these out I don't know I kind of really want to but I'm not going to this looks like the the ship or whatever that comes on. Then you've got these markers. They're really well made, actually. Then you've got this token and these. 
different on the reverse as well. Well, these aren't, but these ones are. Not these egg things. But there you go. So they, they're the tokens for Blackstone Fortress. Oh. And then you've got the Dreaded Amble Warhammer Quest. Okay, so introduction. The components. Uh, offspring, Ambles, the quest. Tunnel entrances after the quest. The beast within. And the biocontainment facility. And then there's an advert for First Strike for some reason. But it's a very good set, and I'd strongly recommend that set. I think it's like £20 or £25, and you get six Primaris, three Death Guard, and uh, six Pots Walkers. And, you know, a gaming map, double sided, and some scenery. So, anyway, so that's the. Uh, Dreaded Amble expansion. I will, in the review, I'll go through this book uh, much more in detail. Blackstone Fortress, the Lair of the Beast. There is great danger in this place. We must tread lightly and be one with the darkness for as long as we are able. The Lair of the Beast. And the event table. There you go. Assembly guide. This is the most poshest assembly guide I've ever been seen. It's like card as well. So this assembly guide also contains the uh, data sheets. There we go. So there's the assembly guide. Really, really easy to put together. It's almost easy to build. Look, two parts, a head, um, an arm piece, a claw piece, and then the ball worms are in two pieces each. You're going to be making this guy up, minus the mold lines, probably under an hour with those ball worms as well. And here's the 40K uh, rules. So elite choice, power points cost of a four. I'll be going through the rules for both the amble and the ball worm infestation in the review. Uh, stay tuned for that. I'm gonna try and get it to you on Wednesday. I can't see why, why, why I shouldn't be able to. Um, there's the points values, 70 points for the amble and 12 points per model for the ball worm infestations. So that's good. And I do like that it's in a booklet as well. Really cool. Uh, it's going to be harder to, and it's quite a big booklet as well, it's going to be harder to um, lose. Oh, that's just the rubbish. Here's the sprue itself. Uh, but let's have a look at the cards before we have a look at the sprue. So they're the um, standard uh, bases, and then this is a, looks like a 50 mil base, I want to say, um, for the amble, with cutouts there. Probably they're going to be um, plugs for the amble. Oh, and then here are all your cards. And then, is there, is there an envelope? Oh no, that must be the envelope right there. Must be. Can't see why it wouldn't be, unless it's here. Oh, there it is. Do not open until the amble's layer quest has been completed. Oh, it's another one of these Blackstone Fortunes. I'm gonna have to build all these and paint them all and then play with them and then do the quest and then I can open this and get some I don't know what's in here well we, we won't find out will we for a while and this is another bag and you've got some cards some combat and these wow that's pretty cool Amble Enraged 24 wounds then and then the normal arm amble, and then the ball worm infestation. There are your behaviour tables. Wow. Cool. And then you've got these little cards. I don't need a knife for this one. So we'll have a look at this. Archaeotech, Archaeotech, lots of Archaeotechs. Well, that's pretty cool. It's like a face, doesn't it? Like Spirited Away kind of thing. That's what it just reminded me of. Uh, Xenologist's Report, Ample Spore, Ample Spores. There you go. Discoveries. All them are discovery cards. Cool. They're really, really awesome. And you got these. Oh, I might need this actually.
So combat, challenge, combat, challenge, and so on. Exploration. So there are all your exploration cards and the tunnel board. That's really awesome where you can tunnel. And then these, just, is it three? Just three cards in this, how bizarre. The Dreaded Amble Encounter, so they're all encounters except <clears throat> the difference is each one. Nesting ball worms, unstable footing and toxic atmosphere. So you've got three different uh, encounter cards. They're, they're the encounter cards. Okay, and that's it um, for what you get. Okay, um, yeah, you, you do get a fair amount. And I kind of thought that you, you'd probably get this much uh, in there so just as a recap you get this baggie which is you know very useful you can put all these cards in there um, you get all of these you get all of these discovery cards all of the exploration cards the encounter cards the layer of beast envelope so loads and loads of cards there um, then you get your assembly guide and your rules for 40k you've got your blackstone fortress um, layer of the beast the dreaded amble big information booklet there it's a decent 20 no 15 <laughs> 15 pages in that and then you get your markers and on top of all that you get a model too and here it is let's have a look at this um sprue so hopefully that'll pick it up quite well there's a lot going on behind it but as you can see there look there's the little maggots what are they called they're called the rat, rat maggots rat mag maggot symbiosis some big big arms huge huge claws and the rat maggots I love the paint job that they've done for him too have we got a better paint job? There we go. Look at that paint job. Stunning. To get the glow from these kind of, I want to say honeycombs. It reminds me of a whisper gold for some reason. Anyway, um, <laughs> the rat maggots and part of his arm, the other part of his claws. He looks like he's got three, three claws like a sloth, but he definitely no sloth. Um, these big, big pincers and feelers and these insect eyes. He is the stuff of, of nightmares. He really is. And then, of course, on top of this, you've got Forgewell bringing out their uh, set of two Ambots. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they'll be coming out in a couple of weeks, I would think. Maybe even next week. And there's the body itself and the, and the legs. So just one piece there. So you just connect that to the arms and the chest and then you've got a couple of other bits like the forearm and the claws and the head to fit on then he's done guys um you know you've got something to put on the base as well um i think it is that little bit to put on the base um and then you've got the ball worm um themselves this these and this and these yeah horrible looking things there we go, much better. So you got those and the ball worms. So a large sprue, I give it that. But thirty-five pound, hmm. I'm not sure. I mean, when you think of what you can get for thirty-five pound, and I know I'm looking at it from a model perspective, you know that's five pounds off a redempt dreadnought, um, which has multiple sprues, many, many pieces, m multiple posing options. Rebute Gilliman himself is £37.50. Um, and think of such a huge model he is uh, with all his detail. You can get 10 Primaris Intercessors for the same price. Uh, you can get a Whirlwind. You can get a Predator, which is multiple sprues. But it's difficult because it's difficult to say because yeah, those are box sets and get obviously Games Workshop sell a lot of them, um, so they make up their costs you know way way easier, and they do sort of have the rules in. But this has everything in. This has the full full rules, all the points values, um, you know, for match play and for um, sort of casual play, and it has um, 
all of these cards to use for in Blackstone Fortress um, and the tokens and this big big guide um, that you wouldn't normally get in you know the sets that I've mentioned now if you don't play Blackstone Fortress um, yeah it's difficult to justify um, just for Warhammer 40,000 um, but if you do have the game like myself I'd probably look at the Warhammer 40,000 rules as a bit of a bonus and it's nice to have a big gribbly creature just in terms of a model uh, and also for use of your games in Blackstone Fortress. Anyway, I'm, I'm veering off, I think I'm veering off into like a review territory so I don't want to do that because um, I'll put down all my thoughts and opinions in the review uh, once I've built the, the model and show you some size comparisons which I'm very eager to do as quickly as possible. Anyway, what do you guys think uh, of the Dreaded Amble? Please do put it in the comments below, it'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today, thank you for watching, The Emperor Protects.